Phlebotomy, Lesson 2.9, Common Cardiac Conditions. Acute coronary syndromes are any conditions caused by a similar sequence of events that results in a decrease in oxygen flow to the heart muscle. This can be caused by a narrowing of a coronary artery, a buildup of plaque, or a blood clot blocking the blood flow in an artery. This is a very generic term, and it's used when doctors really don't know the cause of the patient's problem yet, because testing has not been completed. It is more or less a placeholder diagnosis that allows patients to be admitted to the hospital for further testing. This syndrome is usually caused by arteriosclerosis or atherosclerosis. Arteriosclerosis literally means a hardening of the arteries. This keeps the vessels from expanding as needed and elevates the blood pressure which puts more stress on the ventricles trying to pump the blood out of the heart. Atherosclerosis is a hardening and blocking of the arteries by fatty deposits called plaques. These plaques can build up until they completely occlude or block the artery. They can also break off and travel until they get stuck in a smaller artery and occlude it. Angina is a general term to describe chest discomfort or other symptoms that occur suddenly, indicating a decrease in available oxygen to the heart's tissues. Angina is a symptom that indicates ischemia. Ischemia is a lack of oxygen to the heart muscle. This may be described as a burning, pressing, squeezing, suffocating, strangling, bursting, grip-like, heaviness, or a weight pressing down. Ischemia is the term for an insufficient blood flow to deliver oxygen to the tissues. Ischemia is a serious condition in which tissue death may occur due to lack of adequate oxygen. It is most often caused by a blockage of the small arteries that bring oxygen and nutrients into the area. Failure to correct this problem will lead to tissue death. Heart tissue death occurring due to an interruption in oxygenated blood flow to the heart muscle is called a myocardial infarction or a heart attack. A heart attack or a myocardial infarction is caused by a blockage of blood flow to the heart muscle. The term infarction means tissue death. It can be used to describe any tissue in the body. The term myocardial describes the middle or thick muscular layer of the heart. So the term myocardial infarction actually means death to the muscular layer of the heart. Blockage of coronary arteries can cause hypoxia or a decrease in available oxygen to the tissues of the body. Hypoxia, lack of oxygen, leads to ischemia, which is a lack of delivery, which leads to infarction or tissue death if left untreated. Make sure you can define the following terms, arteriosclerosis, atherosclerosis, angina, hypoxia, ischemia, and infarction. Use this handy chart for a quick review of each of the terms. It is important for all healthcare professionals to have a general understanding of the common cardiac conditions. Some of these sound similar, so making flashcards of these six terms may help you learn them. Now, progress to Lesson 3.1.